Welcome back to the show. A pleasure to see our next guest. I haven't seen them for a little while. Fiona caught up with uh, Bro Jake over the holidays in Hawaii. That's right, because that's how we roll, Michael. But Bro <laughs> is joined by Mike Reno, his brand new co-host on Rock 101. How are you, gentlemen? Gentlemen, how are things? Fantastic. Good, how are you guys so, doing? Uh, good. Mr. Reno, how are you settling in, man? It's a lot of fun hanging out with this guy. Yeah, well, he's a good storyteller, right? And, well, you know what? He's, he's good on the radio, and he's teaching me the ropes, and I'm just learning. Now, Mike and I used to do the getting up at uh, yeah, 4 a.m. How's it going two weeks in? How is the early morning for you? It's actually not so bad. There's no traffic. <laughs> uh, there's nobody around the house. It's just completely quiet. You can actually get a few things done. <laughs> And I, you just have to go to bed a little You mean earlier. like showering? And like, you got to creep around the house a little bit, you know? It's kind of like you're doing something wrong, which is, comes natural for me. Right, all right, right. Like you're a thief in your own home, right? Yeah. Just sneaking around as and you go. Bro, and how is Mr. Reno doing? He's doing great. He's doing great. I mean, I, I the over and under, he's going to last 14 days, which will be this Friday. We'll see if it happens. We'll see how she goes. Uh, you know, he came in Monday morning, and I went, all right, second week. And he was there. And he actually beat me in today because I had didn't have my pass key and I was down there waiting for somebody in the parking lot to pick me up so I could <laughs> get upstairs. So, we can, so the over under was this a, a public thing or was this inter office? No, people no, were... I'm right on the air with it. I figure, you know, you gotta hit days. people with honesty. Right. Just right. let them know right here's the that. deal. So Mike, uh, do you like a good challenge like that? Do you like the, you know, 14 days? I'll show you. I'll make it 15 days. Well, I can control that challenge. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm the go. guy in charge of that particular challenge. Uh, I'll be there. I'm gonna be there. I'm, uh, I signed on for this and I'm quite enjoying it. Yeah. yeah. How are you enjoying the radio aspect of things? I mean, of course, you've been interviewed on the radio a million times over the years, but now you're uh, behind the mic all the time. What's it like? It kind of comes natural to me. All the interviews I've done over the years, like you said, it's something that I seem to like to do. Yeah. I like to listen to, to people tell stories, but I also like to tell stories myself. So it's kind of one, of, and plus, you know, it's radio, you don't have to really fancy up. You can go there in your jammies if you want. You don't you have go to put in your jammies. makeup. Do you wear a onesie? Can you please send us a picture of that? Us in our jammies. jammies? We should have jammy day, huh? No. No. <laughs> what are you, insane? See, Mike is still no. learning certain things yeah. about working with Jake. Yeah. He goes, no jammy no, no day. jammies on the job, No Jake? jammies on the show. No. Uh, Mike Reno and jammies. No. We just got him into the red leather pants. You know how we did that? How? We actually threw him off the 20th floor, <laughs> Vaseline the red leather pant legs, and he slipped right in, and boom. And Damn. That was the first shot. How was the landing? That feels kind of nice, but kind of Oh, nice. it was a stick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ten boy landing. Uh, Jake, you and uh, Miss Forbes. We uh, hung out in Hawaii. You guys she were She texted out in me, Hawaii. and it was amazing. You know, it's kind of cool when you when you meet people. That sounds so wrong. She texted me. It was amazing. <laughs> no, no, but it was like, oh, she's here because we talked about it, and yes, I thought we did. this would be really cool. And, we and you had your buddy. Lovely, lovely dinner. Seema was there. Yeah. Yes, and Neil McRae and his wife. Yes, isn't that something? We huh? saw so I asked Fiona. <laughs> I asked Fiona what it was like to have dinner with Bro Jake and Neil McRae and your friend Seema, who's yeah. a bit of a wild child as well. And and her review was, it was strange, but really, really fun. It was a lot of fun, and we all thought we'd go Dutch on the bill. But of course, when you've got McRae <laughs> ordering up all these bottles of wine, we had a pretty good bottle of wine. We did. And then everybody's going to go Dutch, like and the 10, bill is like he? $840. And everybody was Fiona, going. Seema, all right, ante up. <laughs> ante up. <laughs> Her eyes just went, what? So, so McRae ducked out on the bill. No, and he paid his whatever 250 bucks was. And then, <laughs> and and then, then, uh, then I, I, I told Fiona that I owe uh, uh, a lunch, and I wanted to present you with what the is this? Paul Roger for Happy New Year's. Well, thank Happy you. New Year's thank for you guys. You. This is a, a this is beautiful, beautiful bottle yeah. of champagne. Yes, it's right? reserved. There's 30 different wines that are in there with a little bubbly in it, and uh, it's, it's from France. I learned a lot of new thank words you. when I, I had dinner the with you enjoy guys. Their champagne. They really do. Mm -hmm. They enjoy it in the tall grass as well. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't Does know. it really matter? <laughs> Two bottles of that, it's in the tall grass. Oh, we'll just put man. this right here. Now, you have a show coming up on uh, Friday night, Mr. The Commodore Friday night. We're going to rock it out. Nice. Uh, we try to do a show in Vancouver every year, and uh, the Commodore is a, a, the funnest place for us. Well, we've talked about that with you before, and, and sort of the memories that you guys have of that room, and, and you know, it's it's been a big part of, of Loverboy sort of through the years as well. Absolutely, and we started the uh, Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation uh, yearly event there yeah. 11 years ago, <laughs> and we've been doing that every year, and we're starting to switch where we're doing it around, but. Um, it's, it's a great place to play. I mean, a place that actually literally rocks 
when people start dancing. Yeah, no on, kidding. You know, this can is you the, feel that on stage? I mean, when you're up on the stage, can you, well, you or can do see, you just see everybody? You can bouncing? see everybody moving about six, eight inches. Like now, bro, yeah, are you going to be rocking six, out on the eight stage? Inches. I'm rocking out on the stage. I'm going to be up there introing the band and maybe a tambourine or two. <laughs> tambourine? <laughs> That's right. That's in it. your jammies? Do you in my jammies. <laughs> do you play the tambourine well? I play it very well. Yeah, play it very well. No, I'm now, really excited. This is going to be a, a cool thing, and, and uh, we've got some news with Loverboy coming on down the road for nice. all the Rock 101 listeners that well, could this, be part of something really huge. This like is what? just such a perfect extension for the whole show, right? I mean, just to bring everything together. Yeah, and yeah. It's, you know, I mean, me being in rock and roll and playing Lover Boy back in the 80s when they first hit, and to think I'd be working with him now, working across from him, is just yeah. so unreal. Kind of a trip, huh? It is really trippy. Big eye really contact trippy. every now and then. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. you guys are doing your bucket list contest. Yes. What's on your bucket list? You. Donald, I can't announce of, my bucket list no? because that Was is it going to be the. Snorkeling with Neil McRae? Oh my God, no, boogie boarding. <laughs> with boogie Neil boarding with Neil. Can you tell He's, us? Well, yeah, I can tell you that story. little story. Well, you know, because I'm kind of active. I like to get up and run up to Diamond Head and jog a little bit and get up and do stuff. Yeah. Neil likes to sleep. Till noon, <laughs> and he's aided by this mask he puts on because he, he you know, he's got he needs sleep some apnea. sleep apnea. Yeah, my dad's got one of those yeah. four stair things. But you know, yeah. it's on his face for 12 hours, so when he gets up. <laughs> And he takes it off, it looks like a Sharpay's ass. <laughs> it's all indented. Like, I mean, it's just pop riveted on there, and he pulls it off. So, three hours, it pops back to normal. Then you can actually look at him. And then we went for a boogie board. Oh my and God, what did he do? We, we, he didn't do well. Uh, there was a crosswind. They were, there was like five and six foot curlers out there. So, you know, we're on, I'm having a good time. I look at him, and he's being blown sideways down the other way. I'm going, come on, you gotta come in. And have you seen Neil in a swimsuit? No, thank God. All that's God. missing is a harpoon mark. <laughs> they finally got him in. He cut himself on the coral. Uh, he bled from the beach, up through the sidewalk, down the sidewalk, in through the lobby, in through the elevator, down the hallway of the house, into the thing where they had his feet up with a towel. We were waiting the whole night for it to cauterize. He had a <laughs> towel over. Are we going out tonight? No, nope, we're not going out. Hasn't cauterized yet. <laughs> you know, seriously. How did I miss this? And uh, you know, and his wife is feeding him greyhounds. So I mean, you know, that really helps the blood oh, thicken, the vodka. Listen, if you're bleeding out there, just drink a lot of greyhounds. And it's don't worry just about the sharks. Best way. Well, it's funny, you're cheap drunk all of a yeah. sudden, right? It hits right to the head. I well, mean, if they can figure out how to get shoes made out of an ink blotter, we, we would have been eating that. I'm never going to look at a Sharpay the same way again. No. Thank you for that, <laughs> Mike Reno. Congratulations on the gig, and yeah, man, uh, lots of fun. Mike will, and the boys will be doing the show at the Commodore Friday, January. The 14th, you can go to Live Nation's website to find out. I think boogie boarding with Neil McRae is on my bucket That's list. That's a bucket now. list. You gotta do it. I think it's on there. I just wanna follow the blood trail after yeah. it. Like the sharks that. did. You can enter Bro Jake's bucket list by emailing bucket list at rock101.com or go to the Rock 101 website. <laughs> thank you for taking care of that. I, know. I was incapable. Thanks, fellas. Thank Gentlemen, you. Thank you. And thank you for the champagne. Happy That's New very Year. kind. I, I hope Cheers. the other guests on the program today were taking note of uh, Bro's generosity. We're gonna take Take a break when we come back.